I'm gonna teach you how to edit YouTube Shorts using Adobe Brush. Welcome back, and if you're new to the channel, my name is Alex and I help you grow your personal brand or business online with the latest in social media. Today, we're talking about editing YouTube Shorts using Adobe Rush, and I'm gonna walk you step-by-step step on how to quickly edit your video using this amazing free app. Now, if you're not familiar with YouTube Shorts, it is the latest TikTok, what the f TikTok's latest competitor. 60 seconds or less vertical videos that are gaining small YouTubers thousands of views and subscribers. And on top of that, a $100 million fund that is going to start paying YouTube short creators who are making amazing original content. And you don't even need to be part of the YouTube Partner Program, which says that in order to get monetized, you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours. But with YouTube Shorts, anyone can get paid. You're probably wondering, how could this be possible? And this is how happening right now because YouTube is heavily promoting YouTube Shorts to compete with TikTok. And if you bring attention to the YouTube platform, you will be rewarded. This is a great opportunity that is opening the doors for anyone who wants to grow a YouTube channel. And maybe you've had a few videos, but it feels like no one is watching. But you want to edit your videos fast and you want them to look amazing? I'm going to teach you how to do just that using Adobe Rush. But if you haven't done so, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button so that the YouTube algorithm gods put my video in front of more people just just like you who are looking for tips and tricks on how to be more successful with YouTube Shorts. And we can continue to build a community to help each other grow. <sighs> Uh, with all that said, let's dive right in. Now, in order to get started, download the free app from the Google Play or the Apple Store. By now, I'm assuming that you've already shot your video, so let's go ahead and open the Rush app. Click on Rush. This is gonna open up previous projects, start a new project. Click on the plus sign, click Add Media. Then you wanna go straight to your camera row, select the videos in the chronological order that you want them in. For example, I know that I shot this first, I'll follow it by this one, this one, this one, and this one. Then click on create, wait for it. Now that it's loaded up, notice how easy it is to get through the timeline. If I wanna switch clips, or maybe I wanna be able to maximize the size of the clip. Whenever I load my videos, the first thing I do is start trimming what I don't want, select my point where I wanna start my cut, click on the scissors that you notice there, Click on that. When it comes to cutting your video, it is really, really easy. Let me go ahead and do another one. This is my cutting point, so I'll go ahead and click that. Tap on it once, and it's gonna give me the options to separate audio from the video, delete the video, split it. Very, very easy. Find a point that you don't want, click the split button, tap on it once, delete what you don't want. I find all the unwanted parts that don't make sense in my video, and I start trimming all the unnecessary ums or pauses in between clips if I'm doing a talking head video. This is gonna to help you a lot with the flow of your video. So go ahead and start cutting up all the parts of what you don't want in your video. And now let's move into our next step. Another really cool thing that I like about Adobe Rush, you can use titles. Click on add graphic, but let's say that I want this one. Click on add. I can just go ahead and drag it. If you want to go ahead and just edit that text, click on the actual screen. Go ahead and type in Corvette Z06. Click the check mark right here, play it and just select the graphics that work for you. Let's see what this one looks like. Pretty cool. You can also add really cool effects and mess around with the color. Let's say I want that one. There goes mono and maybe we can try some warm and just pick what works for you. It's gonna allow you to change the look and feel of your video and spice it up. You can even go as deep as changing the intensity, adjust the exposure, adjust the contrast, adjust the highlights. Just play around with this and get an idea of how the software works. It's cool to have an app that gives you the flexibility to edit your videos and not be limited to what you can and cannot do. You can add effects to the video, cross dissolve or dip to black, dip to white, wipe left, wipe right, for example. Let's do dip to black, press play. You can also speed up your video, change it to 250%. Click play on this and see what it does. Let's go back and look at audio. In the Adobe Rush library, we have few soundtracks that are already free within the app. You can find a very nice selection of music. Let's go ahead and uh, let's try this one. And let's add that to our video. Drag it all the way to the left. Let's go ahead and just click play. Add music, you can speed up the video, uh, adjust the color, add cool effects and transitions, 
add graphics and titles. The app is really, really easy to use. Once you're done editing your video, before you export, one thing that I would recommend is to make sure that your video is gonna export as vertical and make sure that it is nine by 16. Make sure to review your video. When you're ready to export, the next thing you wanna do, click on this icon right here, then click on export click on continue export 